This trebuchet is still one of my favourite YouTube projects to date. However, despite having wheels, it's not very portable. Now this is a small scale model of my larger trebuchet that I built when prototyping the larger trebuchet. And this is a bit more portable, as you can see it's quite a bit lighter, quite a bit smaller, and launches a very small projectile. However, it's still a bit fiddly as it doesn't have a proper trigger mechanism and also trying to hold the counterweight in the right position is a bit awkward. As well as that, the projector doesn't go very far. So what I want to try and do is make an even smaller trebuchet than this that will shoot a bit further range by using some sort of uh, slingshot rubber to store the potential energy rather than a large counterweight. I designed the trebuchet to be cut on my CNC machine in two halves from 18mm thick plywood. So when the parts are attached together, they'll make a trebuchet frame of about 36mm wide and roughly 100mm tall axle height, mounted on top of a pistol shaped grip. After a bit of sanding, I installed the axles for the trigger mechanism and the two halves slotted together quite nicely. The trigger mechanism was 3D printed due to the required small dimensions, however these could have been cut on my CNC machine with the right cutting bits. When connected by the steel pushrod, you can see how the mechanism will work, where the rear latch will hook onto the main arm and simply pull away to launch the projectile. I then installed the main axle, main arm and a length of slingshot rubber which will be used to store the potential energy. And by holding the slingshot rubber with my thumb, I was able to give the release mechanism a quick test. With the slingshot rubber properly tied down to the frame, I made a test projectile using two nuts and a piece of string. This added up to the same weight as the 10mm steel ball bearings I eventually want to fire. So it's time for a test launch. Now, trebuchets occasionally misfire, which causes the projectile to be launched backwards at high speed. So with the trebuchet loaded and roughly aimed, I tilted my head to the side to prevent any unwanted headshots. Fortunately, it released perfectly. The next step was to make the hand grip a little more rounded and then it was time for some optimization. Right, so I've been doing some tinkering over the past couple of days and I've made quite a few major modifications. So let me bring you up to speed with what changes I've made. The original main arm design had this curved section to allow the tension from the rubber to act at a larger distance from the main axle when the trebuchet was loaded to create a larger torque. But this only allowed for a very short piece of rubber which meant the tension throughout the release reduced significantly as the rubber got shorter. I then designed this newer arm with two pulleys either side. This allows the rubber to be far longer as well as always acting at a constant radius from the main axle. This applies a more constant torque on the arm during launch and results in a similar release velocity as the previous rubber whilst being stretched far less. This means we can always increase the tension to get higher release velocities later. Now for probably the most difficult part of this whole build, the sling. The sling is often the most frustrating part of a trebuchet to build, especially if you've not made one before or have lack of sewing skills like myself. On my larger trebuchet, I build the slings using nylon straps, sewed together with nylon thread into a three piece cup, which perfectly fits the required projectile. But to replicate this with a 10 millimeter diameter projectile is unfeasible. Eventually I settled on a solid sling that can be 3D printed. It's simply two halves of a 3D printed bowl with a string hinge in the middle. It's made perfectly to hold the 10mm ball bearing and only requires two attachment points. Two final modifications include a magnet to keep the projectile in position before launch, so the trebuchet can be tilted without issues. And finally, a magnet used to store up to 10 balls inside of the grip for later use. Now you're probably thinking, other than having a miniature trebuchet that you can hold in your hand, 
is this useful for anything? Well, let's put it to the test, starting with an accuracy test. Yep, the accuracy is reasonably terrible. The main issue is the height and angle of projectile release. But even then, the projectile is released at at least 30 centimeters or one foot above the original grip height, which at this short distance makes a huge difference to where you need to aim. In terms of projectile velocity, it releases the 4.1 gram ball bearing at 16.8 meters per second, giving the projectile a kinetic energy of about 0.58 joules. If I were to use a counterweight in place of the slingshot rubber, it would be raised about 0.1 meters. So assuming the trebuchet had the same 47% efficiency as my larger trebuchet, for the same performance, we'd need a counterweight of about 1.25 kilograms, which considering the whole trebuchet weighs under 250 grams and a 1.25 kilogram counterweight being larger than the whole frame itself, the slingshot rubber is a far better solution. So what about the range? The range depends a lot on what angle the projectile is released, but at best, it seems to fire about 25 to 30 meters, which might not seem that far, but considering it's one tenth scale of my larger trebuchet, the scale range isn't that bad. Though it will probably struggle to win against a nerf gun, especially with the next test, the reload time. Do I even need to comment on that? <laughs> I'm not really sure how to conclude this project. I mean, what else can you say about a mini trebuchet? Um, I suppose I mainly wanted to build this thing just to uh, sort of see what it would look like in slow motion, you know, like a mini pistol gun with a weird trebuchet just whipping out the top. <laughs> it sounds really powerful at that short range. I think it's it's actually putting dents in my shed from, well, I'm only about a metre and a half away. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this short little project. Uh, it was good fun to build and it's definitely something to hang on my wall. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, it'd be great if you could leave a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel uh, and you're interested in seeing more projects similar to this, then please click subscribe down below. A huge, huge thanks to all of my patrons for supporting me over on patreon.com. And uh, thanks once again for watching. See you in the next video.